your son, Winton. This little dude right here, 16, he's the youngest one in the family. This is my middle son. This is Jason, Jason Harvey. Jason. <laughs> Everyone knows that Steve Harvey is the ultimate family man, but it looks like things aren't as perfect as they seem. Word on the street is that Steve's own children are feeling neglected and second rate to his stepdaughter, who isn't even related to him by blood. It seems like ever since Steve married Marjorie, his priorities have completely shifted to revolve around her and their daughter, Lori. But what's really going on behind the scenes? Why does Steve's own flesh and blood despise Marjorie and Lori so much? Buckle up, we're about to dive into some seriously juicy family drama. You don't get that much of an allowance. No, not enough to get this shoe. I get enough to, you know, eat and, you know, stuff like that. The Harvey family is no stranger to drama, and it seems like things are heating up once again. It turns out that there's been some serious tea brewing behind the scenes, and we've got the inside scoop. Steve Harvey's four kids from his previous relationships, Brandy, Carly, Broderick, and Winton, have been stirring up quite a bit of controversy lately. They're not shy about letting the world know that they're not on good terms with their stepmom, Marjorie, or their stepsister, Lori Harvey. According to a source close to the family, things have been far from picture perfect in the Harvey household. Despite all the public praise Steve gets for being a great family man, there's a lot of tension and conflict just beneath the surface. One major source of contention has been Steve's relationship with his stepdaughter, Lori Harvey. While Steve's biological children have reportedly been struggling to get their father's attention and support for years, Lori has been the apple of his eye. But why is this causing so much trouble? Well, according to our source, Steve's kids are feeling incredibly jealous of Lori, despite the fact that she's not even related to them by blood. And who can blame them? Lori is a rising star in her own right, with a string of high-profile relationships and a massive social media following. Meanwhile, Steve's biological children have reportedly been struggling to make their own way in the world without the support and attention of their famous father. But it's not just the kids who are feeling left out. Our source claims that Steve's own wife, Marjorie, has been playing a major role in all this drama. Apparently, she's been manipulating Steve and even controlling his every move. Insiders are even calling her a control freak. Now, we all know Steve Harvey as a devoted father who prioritizes his family above all else. However, what many people don't know is that before Steve became a household name, he was reportedly not the best father to his own children. It has been revealed that he neglected and ignored them while he was busy building his career in comedy and entertainment. In fact, his son Broderick had to chase after him just to have a connection with his own father. It's no wonder why Steve's biological children are feeling resentful towards him now that he seems to be favoring his stepdaughter. He could get a relationship with him. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16. While some people may think that Steve Harvey has done enough to make up for his past mistakes when it comes to his biological children, others believe that it's all just for show. Sure, he may have promoted Broderick's shoe brand on his show and interviewed Carly and her husband about their wedding preparation, but is it all just a facade to make him look good in the public eye? Many people are saying that while Steve seems to be trying to make amends with his biological children, his efforts come across as insincere and forced. On the other hand, when it comes to Marjorie and Lori, he seems to be genuinely happy and invested in their lives. They suggest that his actions are simply an attempt to save face in the public eye. In fact, some people are so outraged that they have taken to social media to voice their opinions. One person commented, How do you tell a child to move on from the trauma inflicted by a parent? I went to college with the twins. That man did not attend a family event. Not a heritage festival event, not a comedy show, not a football game, basketball game, field hockey or bowling. Not a nothing. They were extremely humble and nice. He had nothing to do with that. I've always found it hard to listen to anything he has to say. Another person added, he could give his biological children all those things. Wouldn't take away the hurt of seeing him devoted to Lori and her mother. Your parents' love is priceless. Money can't buy that. Overall, it seems that many fans share the sentiment that no matter how much Steve tries to make amends, the pain and hurt felt by his children seeing him devote himself to Marjorie and Lori will always be a painful reminder of the past. 
To add fuel to this hot topic, it turns out that Steve wasn't just absent from his children's lives. He was also reportedly abusive towards them, especially his son, Winton. In fact, Steve's ex-wife, Mary, couldn't keep quiet any longer and called him out on his behavior in this particular incident. According to police reports, Winton was subjected to physical maltreatment that left him with bruises and difficulty using the restroom for days. Shockingly, Steve Harvey was never officially named as the one responsible for this heinous act. However, things took a dramatic turn when Steve's ex-wife, Mary, decided to speak up about the incident. Apparently, Mary has been keeping quiet about the whole ordeal for years, but a disagreement with Steve in 2013 pushed her to reveal the truth. In a shocking move, Mary broke her gag order and named Steve as the one who had beaten their son. This caused a huge uproar in the media, with fans and critics alike calling out Steve's questionable parenting tactics. Despite the seriousness of the situation, Steve seemed to have been able to clear his name and evade any real consequences. Mary, on the other hand, found herself in hot water after violating her gag order. To many, this whole ordeal seemed incredibly shady and raises questions about Steve's character and actions. But the tea didn't stop there, because one of the reasons why Steve's kids hold a grudge against Marjorie and her daughter is because of the rumors surrounding Marjorie's past. According to sources, Marjorie has been linked to her ex-husband, Jim Townsend's drug dealings, and this has caused quite a stir among Steve's family. But that's not all, because these allegations have some serious implications. Steve's ex-wife, Mary, had previously accused Marjorie of being a drug addict, and if these rumors are true, it could mean that Mary's accusations were spot on. This would certainly explain why Steve's children are so wary of Marjorie and Lori, and why they have such a hard time accepting their father's relationship with them. Of course, we can't say for sure whether these rumors are true or not, but it's clear that they've had a major impact on Steve's family dynamics. It's a shame that all this drama has to play out in the public eye. But when it comes to celebrities like Steve Harvey, it seems like there's always something scandalous going on behind the scenes. Well, there's another thing to consider as to why it's so visible that Steve's kids don't associate much with Marjorie and Lori. We all know that Marjorie loves to bond with the so-called blended family. But there's one problem. Whenever they go on vacation or spend time together, the twins, Brandy and Carly, are always noticeably absent. Fans have been quick to speculate that there may be some sort of underlying issue between the three women. Perhaps there's some sort of tension between Marjorie and the twins, or maybe there's some kind of feud between the two girls and Lori. Whatever the case may be, it's clear that there's some kind of disconnect between them, and it's causing some serious drama within the family. Despite all of this, Lori still seems to receive the princess treatment from both Steve and Marjorie. Fans have noticed that she's often lavished with attention and affection, while the older kids are left out in the cold. Some speculate that this is because Lori is Steve's only child with Marjorie, while the older kids are from his previous marriages. Others suggest that it may simply be because Lori is the youngest and therefore gets preferential treatment. Either way, it's clear that there's some tension within the Harvey family, and fans are dying to know what's really going on behind closed doors. So what do you think? Will the older kids ever be able to patch things up with Marjorie and Lori? Or is this feud destined to continue for years to come? Only time will tell, but there's one thing for sure. This is one drama that's not going to go away anytime soon. And while you're thirsting for more juicy gossip within the Harvey household, don't forget to tune in to our next episode where we spill even more piping hot tea from the world of celebrities.